Once the water supply is turned on, the water will travel along the pipework connected to the aqua valve and begin to fill the tray. As the tray fills, the top float will begin to rise. As the top float rises, the airtight connection between the top float silicon and the hole below it will be broken. Once the airtight connection is broken, the air within the main body of the aqua valve will escape from the hole and in turn the internal bottom float will rise. Once the bottom float has risen completely, the silicon fitted to it will cut off the incoming water supply. The water level is now 20 millimeters, and no further water will enter the tray until the existing supply has been consumed by the plant. As the plant starts to consume the water in the tray, the water level will slowly start to drop and the top float will start to lower. Once the top float has dropped completely, the top float silicon will reseal the hole creating an airtight seal. The plant continues to consume the water in the tray. Once the water reaches the bottom of the aqua valve main body, the surface tension will cling onto the aqua valve for 30 to 60 minutes. This provides the dry cycle before the tray is refilled. As the surface tension snaps around the bottom of the aqua valve main body, the air inside it escapes, allowing the internal bottom float to drop and a fresh supply of water is provided. The aqua valve is simply controlled by the plants and will open and close according to their requirements. It will open and close more frequently as the plant starts to grow and the weather becomes warmer. 